Hello, everybody. Um, I will be producing a series of um, videos, very short videos, on um, a selection of topics that examiners like. And what um, I hope to do is, um, after each video, we will post them on the um, um, website for a week. And then I will generate um, some questions, maybe one uh, EMQ or two EMQ questions, and then some single best answer questions, which will be available for a week, and then we'll take them down. For the first uh, two videos, I like to look at aspects of uh, contraception. Today, I will be looking at uh, hormonal contraception. I will be looking at when to start contraception what happens when uh, you miss uh, the uh, contraceptive pill or the patch uh, or the ring and then uh, the next video we're looking at emergency contraception so just following on from um, the missed pill so i'll be looking at uh, the combined hormonal contraception which will include uh, the pill uh, of course will include uh, the transdermal patch as well as the vaginal ring uh, and then we'll look at the um, mini pill but before I start I'd like to remind you that the uh, human spermatozoa is capable of surviving in the genital tract for five days that's a very important fact which also comes up in the exams when should you start the combined hormonal contraception you can start it any day uh, of the menstrual cycle but what is important is that if you're starting it uh, from uh, the six upwards then uh, you need to offer uh, additional contraceptive protection in the form of a barrier contraception for seven days because once you go past uh, six days uh, you may in fact um, uh, have the woman ovulating before the contraceptive becomes effective with regards to uh, when you start the patch, it's uh, on the first day of the menstrual cycle. The patch is taken, um, you apply it every week. So on the first day, the eighth day, and the 15th day. And the ring is inserted on the first day of uh, menstruation. So the first um, uh, issue that we need to look at is what happens when you missed the combined uh, hormonal contraceptive pill. Well, if you miss if a patient misses one pill, one active pill, then she needs to take the active pill as soon as she remembers. And the definition of a missed pill is really uh, missing it by uh, one day. Now, no additional contraception is required, but if the page woman misses two or more, then she needs to take uh, the next active pill as soon as she remembers but she would have lost contraceptive protection and this is worse if the pills are within the first seven days and for that she will need to take an additional uh, uh, contraceptive uh, uh, precaution like using a barrier method for seven days if the seven days run into the next um, uh, into the pill free interval then she needs to take the next pack without uh, the pill-free interval. In terms of uh, the patch, essentially either the patch is uh, uh, detached or is completely uh, uh, removed. So if the patch is only partially detached, then the woman can reapply the patch without any need for additional contraception. However, if the patch is completely detached, and it's less than uh, 24 hours, uh, she can just uh, replace the patch and uh, she is still uh, 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 contraceptively safe. But if it is more than uh, 24 hours that she becomes aware of, then she needs to restart the patch cycle and take an effective contraception for seven days. If intercourse has happened during the patch free interval, then she must take additional uh, precautions. Of course, if the woman delays applying the patch uh, and this will happen during the mid-cycle, 
then if that delay is less than 48 hours she doesn't need to take any additional precautions but if it's more than 48 hours then she needs to take additional precautions with regards to the ring if the ring is um, expelled during weeks one and two then the woman just rinses the ring and places back in the vagina without and, and then she needs, needs to use an, uh, an additional contraception for seven days so the ring is expelled in weeks one and two she rinses it replaces it and then uses a barrier method for seven days if however the ring is expelled in week three then she doesn't need to use an additional form of contraception or she can either clean it and reinsert it or just wait for seven days and then start a new ring but if she's waiting for seven days then she must take an additional form of uh, contraception in terms of the progestogen only uh, contraceptive pills obviously definition of a miss pill is very different for uh, the uh, most of them apart from um, uh, Serazet it is less than 12 uh, 3 hours and for Serazet is less than uh, 12 hours and the miss pill which is if uh, the woman has forgotten to take the pill for uh, less than 3 hours and she remembers she starts taking the next pill and no additional contraception is required however if she doesn't remember within three hours then she needs to take an additional contraception this time for two days rather than seven days and with Sarah Z again if it's more than 12 hours that she remembers then she must take an additional preca uh, precaution in terms of barrier methods finally if the woman suffers from vomiting within two hours of taking the pill either the mini pill or the uh, combined hormonal contraceptive pill then she must retake it if she has severe diarrhea uh, and vomiting that lasts for more than 24 hours then uh, she must take additional precautions even if she retakes the active pill for seven days